I'm Pat Holroyd. I'm a museum scientist here at University of California Museum of Paleontology. My area of interest are animals from the time period of dinosaurs up through the beginning of the age of mammals. So from about 70 million years ago to about 35 million years ago. This is a fascinating time period when we see a lot of change in the animals of the world. Uh, there's an asteroid impact that caused extinction. We see recovery from extinction and we see the effects of global warming. So, so many different ways we can study the past by looking at this time period. One of the things we do here is bring fossils out of the field or in many cases out of long storage to bring them down and sort them to capture information on them. So we identify bones, we determine what animal was present and we also record all the information about its context, what rocks it came from, what, uh, when it was collected, uh, anything about the age of the fossil, and then we record all of that in the computer and make it available uh, on the web and distribute it worldwide. The story of life's history is worldwide, and we want to understand the big picture and the big context so that we can inform current conditions and understand about the future. Most of the animals you see on campus today are just a relic of what was here 10,000 years ago. So 10,000 or 20,000 years ago you would have seen mammoths and ground sloths here in California and we know this because we have found fossils of them at isolated places here in the bay. They're beneath us under the ground so the past is here beneath us that, but we only get glimpses of it sometimes when we dig deep enough. The T-Rex on display here is from Montana. We've long worked out there and this is a T-Rex that's about 67 million years old that we are the first to display and you can see it today also in Washington DC where they are currently mounting a skeleton of this same animal. The animals that we are studying, most of the animals we're studying are extinct. They don't live here anymore.